Hey guys, today's how to is how to paint a bag or a pair of shoes. You're going to start with a deglosser and a cotton ball. You can use a rag, but make sure there's nothing on it. You're going to pour a little bit on there and start to rub the entire surface. Some designs will come off. Not all of them, but as you can see on this Loungefly wallet, it did come off. For me, that works because I do paint the entire thing, but if that's not your plan, you should use a Q-tip and test a small area first. Once you finish wiping down the whole thing, you want to make sure that it's completely dry before you start to paint. I like to start with one coat before I draw the design. In this case, I knew I was going for a darker design, so I did use black. I normally use white. Since this is your first coat, it doesn't have to be too solid. You just want to make sure you get the entire surface area. You can use a hair dryer or a heat gun. You just want to make sure not to be too close and not to let it get too hot. It will make the paint bubble. Now you have two options. You can either paint on the outline of the design or you can draw it. When I originally started, I always drew it and now I tend to paint it on more often. This is just a rough outline. You don't need to be too specific. This back piece did look a little bit more complicated, which is why I decided to go ahead and pre-draw it just so I could get familiar with the shape. These are the paint pens I use. I think they're the best. They also come in a large assortment of colors and sizes. And they work well with the other leather paint. Next you're going to take your leather paint and you're going to start filling in the design. I wanted this to have a glow, so I did an outline first, and then I used a q-tip to sort of smudge around it. Next you take your paints and just paint it all in. This process does take a while. For me it takes about 3 hours per character or solid image. So I did skip to a finished bag to show you how to seal it. So you have your finished bag and you're going to take a finisher. I like the gloss because most of my bags are glossy. Whatever brush you end up using, just keep in mind that you won't be able to use it again. So I use these cheap ones and I do a couple coats. You really only need one or two. I just like the extra security of knowing that the design and the bag is really sealed. I also feel like this sealer does a good job of protecting the bag more than just the area that you painted, but the whole bag. Once you're done, just check it with your hand, make sure it's completely dry. This bag was a Betsy Johnson. Fun fact, before I learned how social media work, I did miss this opportunity. She had messaged me from Twitter looking for a painting of her that I had done, but it was too late by the time I reached out. That's okay. <laughs> it's still a memory. And then that's it. You have yourself a perfectly sealed, protected, painted bag. I hope this helps. Remember to check out our links to all the supplies that we use to make our products and like and share. <laughs>